potato on the Late Show band, everybody, right there. Come on. Oh, my friends! Oh, my oh, friends! We have yes, we yes. have uh, quite we have uh, quite a delight tonight. We yeah. have. I don't know if you guys watch the Bear. Did you guys ever see that? Oh, yeah. Good. Good uh, a cousin from the Bear, Eben Moss Backrack, is going to be out here in just a little while. That's right. And in just a few minutes, two of my favorite guests together for the very first time, Ooh. Gail King and Charles Barkley will be out here in just a moment. Host of King Charles. Woo. Over CNN. And here's the thing, he doesn't even know what this is, but I've got a bone to pick. Uh oh. Oh, really? With Charles Barkley. I got a beef. Huh? And I'm oh. going to bring it hard tonight. Oh, all right, yeah, you all right. Watch it. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't. Uh, he, he, he's shaking in his boots back there right now. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, you know, I spend most of my time right over there harvesting the day's finest news flour to mix into a topical story brine while simmering bonito and Kombu dashi with Aichi Prefecture Mikawa soybeans. Then adding two delicate slices of kamaboko to serve you the exquisitely balanced miso no komi udon that is my monologue, but sometimes, just sometimes, folks. We're on the run from a violent gang of Harajuku girls on Takashita Street. I fill a used ramen carton with a discarded mandarin peel, scrapings from Kit Kat wrappers, and what's left of an old can of vending machine black tea, then chug the semi fermented hooligan slop of news that is my segment. Meanwhile. A scent with no oxygen. Meanwhile. Over the holidays, an unaccompanied six-year-old child was put on the wrong Spirit Airlines flight. Okay, it sounds bad, but that headline is very unfair. Every Spirit Airlines flight is the wrong flight. <laughs> now, the child's grandparents had to travel from Fort Myers to Orlando to retrieve their grandson, and to make up for it, Spirit offered to reimburse them the drive. <laughs> That's it? You send an unaccompanied six-year-old to the wrong city, and you're like, tell you what, I'm gonna cover the gas. <laughs> Gratis. <laughs> Meanwhile, in aquatic retail news, a nude man was nabbed by police after his cannonball plunge into the giant aquarium <laughs> at a Bass Pro Shop in Alabama. I cannot believe that wasn't in Florida. <laughs> now, video. He was looking for his grandson. Video shows the naked man diving into the aquarium <laughs> and swimming around before notifying authorities that he was all done now. <laughs> and ladies, he's single. <laughs> I hope to God. Uh. And now, because of that one guy, all the fish in that tank have to participate in mandatory corporate sexual harassment training. <laughs> that can't be a real fish, right? <laughs> That's gotta be a billy bass, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, director Christopher Nolan's Peloton instructor slammed one of his movies during a workout. <laughs> Apparently, the instructor had no idea Nolan was in her class when she said this. This song is from the soundtrack of a movie called Tenet. Anybody see this? What the was going on in that movie? Do you understand? That's two and a half hours of my life that I want back. I want it back. Oh, oh, you can have it back. All you gotta do is harness inverted entropy to reverse through time and acquire all nine pieces of the algorithm that then, then you use to destroy your own past. And Elizabeth Debicki sees herself dive off a boat and Robert Pattinson hired you in the past but is also the kid in the future? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out memento. <laughs> Meanwhile... Meanwhile, a customer has filed a negligence lawsuit against Dunkin' Donuts, claiming he was injured by an exploding toilet <laughs> at one of the coffee chain's locations. It's the most horrifying thing to happen at Dunkin' since the date donut. <laughs> yes, that's a date. And that's really what it looked like. And no, I'm not sure it can show that on CBS. Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy, could you blur that, please? Thank you. 
Here, here, here's what happened. Warning, it's unpleasant. <laughs> After the toilet exploded, the customer, who was covered in human feces, urine, and debris, walked out of the men's room seeking help from the workers. An employee told him they were aware of the problem with the toilet <laughs> since there had been previous incidents. Previous? Incidents? <laughs> Should this happen before, multiple times? That explains why Duncan changed their slogan to America Runs From Duncan. <laughs> the man... <laughs> the man claims that since the incident, he has required mental health care and counseling. <laughs> Not exactly the hardest psychological nut for your shrink to crack. Now, it's possible your trust issues stem from your childhood, but I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say they're related to the time you attempted to order a donut, but instead were showered with feces, urine, and debris. <laughs> we'll be right back with Gail King and Charles Barkley.